Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Um, my latest pickup here, um, as you can see, PlayStation 1. Um, not sure how uh, new or old this particular revision is. Um, we'll have a look underneath in a minute, I'll show you the model number and stuff. Um, I'm not that hot on PlayStations. I did have one back in the day. Um, I got one probably, I don't know, six to 12 months after they came out at launch, I think. Um, came with a couple of controllers, so I've got two of the original, um, well I say original, they're not, are they? These are the dual shot ones, I think originally just had the the digital sticks there, I don't think you had these analog sticks, did you? Um, so I've got two of those that came with it, um, came with the original um, cable there, so you can see you've got the composite taps uh, there as well, you know, on this left right stereo, but it goes to SCAR, so it's a nice RGB picture there, it gives a really really good crisp uh, display, really pleased with the video output on this. Um, tested this, it works, works fine. Um, I've, I've got very little, well I've only got one original disc, um, I've got a few uh, backups, so I've tested a few backups and it works. Both with originals and backups, um, which I was shocked at. I was ready to do the pick chip mod for this, actually just to uh, bypass the protection there, but you don't need to, someone's done this before. Um, so as you can see, it's in relatively good condition here. You know, there's some dirt and marks and things, these will all clean up with a bit of plastic cleaner. Um, a few flecks of paint, you know, and decorating and things like that. Um, so I'll just turn it over, I'll show you the underneath. Uh, you can see here it's uh, the model number is SCPH7502. Um, just looking to see if there's any manufactured date or anything on it. Don't think there is, uh, unless I'm going blind. Anyway, we'll have a look inside. Um, so to get it open, uh, it kindly shows you the little arrows there. I need to cut my nails, I just realised they're getting quite long. Um, yeah, screw there, screw there, screw there, on there, on there, on there. So there's six screws and we should be in there. So I'll just whip the lid off and I'll have a look inside. So once you've got the screws out, the lid just simply lifts off. Just to make sure you've taken your disc out first and that's it. There's no wires or anything like that. So it looks like we might have a couple of missing screws here. You can tell someone's been in this before. It does annoy me when people don't replace uh, all of the screws and things. You can see there's a screw missing there. Uh, there's a screw missing there, probably one down there as well, um, this one here, maybe it never had them, I don't know, there's, there's certainly a couple of screws there to hold the shielding down, so the, the immediate thing that, you know, thoughts with this is, look how small the CD unit is, it's very compact, that, that's, um, you know, that's the whole, the whole thing, as far as I can gather, you can all just swap this out, yeah, you can, you can just lift it out, a couple of, there's a ribbon there and a, a little, uh, you know, a, a connector, um, that's it, and your cartridge uh, your memory card uh, ports here and your controller ports seem to be connected on this little separate little board here via this little ribbon so uh, that's interesting uh, power supply separate unit completely it's looking alright, caps look alright don't think there's uh, I'm going to need to do anything with that but yeah that's interesting and fused as well that's good um, so I guess probably have to take the, C the CD unit off here now I'll disconnect uh, these two. Is it one of those ones where you lift? No it's not. I don't think, I think it just pulls out. We'll have to be careful with that. Um, but yeah, I'll pull the CD unit off, get the shielding out of the way and have a look at the board. I guess there must be a chip. In fact, this, see this here? That's it. That's going to be the mod, um, without a doubt. Well, there we go. Um, might have to remove this piece of shield in here to be able to see um, further. You can see someone's obviously been at this before, the soldering iron. Um, in order to route these chip, uh, the, the, you know the wires for the uh, mod chip here, it seems to be three wire mod. Um, yeah, there's only three wires as far as I can see. Them before, is there? I don't know. There's a, there's a green wire. Yeah, there's green wire on the board here. Not sure where that's going. Um, first thing I've noticed, as usual, is SMD caps. Um, so that's interesting. At some point, those will probably need swapping out. Um, but certainly, at the moment, it's you know it's behaving itself. It's uh, the picture looks really clean stuff and it's loading games and things without an issue um, yeah I'm not sure I want to take this shielding off to be honest um, not sure what we're going to be able to tell from under there there's obviously a couple of there's a large quad flat pack or something there you can just see another one under here there's a couple at the back there's one just under there sort of another small quad flat pack 
uh, a large quad flat pack under here. So yeah, I'm amazed how small these are. Bearing in mind, like I said, I don't think this is uh, like a reduced size, you know, like a slimmed down version or anything. They, they were pretty much this size from day one, I think. Uh, it's amazing. Sony did a really good job. Um, ah, interesting thing, your you CD, you, you, you CD controller, uh, you know, the driver chip there is on the actual, uh, on this board. Um, all of the logic is on the main board, you know, and this, this whole CD unit uh, assembly it just comes off. It's amazing really well manufactured, you know, really well designed I guess. Um, so compact, very modular. I like it. These must have been really easy to service back in the day. Just thought I'd give you a quick look at the uh, board itself. Um, I did take the shielding off, it wasn't that difficult actually. Um, I've tidied up these solder points a little bit. Um, they still look a bit of a mess really. I'll, I'll probably clean them up with a bit of isoprop and then reattach. Um, Reattach the thing. Uh, let's give you a bit of close up so you can have a look. Um, I think this is one of the newer revisions, you know, there's probably a lot less chips on this than there perhaps were on the release ones. So I don't know what we've got here, it looks like some sort of little DAC or something, maybe that's to do with the video out. A couple of main chips here, I guess one's going to be sort of a processor and stuff. It could be combined with video, audio. Uh, look at, the, look at the, the size of that chip there, it's massive, the, you know, the pins on that. And a quad flat pack. Just looking at that, is that a ROM or a RAM? Uh, da, da, da. A ROM or a RAM, I'm not sure. Go on there, that looks like a ROM, I think. There's your CD controller, as I pointed out earlier. Yeah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. There's no adjustments on this for the uh, CD either. Um, I'm experiencing some odd behaviour with a CD drive on this, what's happening? Um, for the first few minutes it can struggle to read discs a little bit, but then when it warms up it's fine. Um, it's very odd. And it's only It only seems to be on reading discs. I don't know whether this SMD caps need replacing in some position somewhere, maybe all of them need doing, I don't know. Um, I've checked all the caps on, this, uh, on the power supply here, take them all off and had a good look. Um, they're all fine. They're absolutely fine, including the uh, the main uh, cap there, so 400 volts. Uh, yeah, so let me know if you've got any experience of this particular model of PlayStation in terms of uh, discs and things, and this issue I'm getting where it uh, it can be problematic for the first maybe maybe five minutes, and then it warms up and it's fine. You know, I've just left it running for a few hours and it's been absolutely rock solid. But if I switch it off, leave it overnight, um, it'll struggle for the first five minutes. It's weird, really weird. So there you go, all cleaned up. Uh, not a mark on it really. There's just a tiny, tiny, tiny mark there. But um, yeah, really pleased with it. This is another one that my mum and dad got from car boot sale. Um, I think this was like five pound or something, or six or seven pound. It wasn't very much. Um, yeah, well, let's just show you some of the gameplay here. So there we go. So uh, as you can see, it's working fine. Uh, I used to have this game back in the day, so it's obviously inspired by Doom. The same sort of lack of, uh, you know, sort of up down. Uh, can't think of the right terminology. You can't sort of change your angle of view really, apart from just side to side. The light does sort of accommodate it a little bit when you go upstairs. It makes it look more well, certainly it looks like you go upstairs. But, you know, it's all flat. You've got to do this now. I think it's a door that you can press that button there. Don't you? I'm really impressed with uh, how this has uh, aged really. It's aged better than you uh, would expect. Got away, I think, that one. It's that map, is it? Yeah, auto map. But we get our first alien in there. Stop, it really is. 
this fits in the rocks on the side. Okay, let's see what happens. to walk through the bodies of the uh, aliens and things like that. Surrounded by a face, or is it? I think this might be going back to the star. I'm not really sure which way I'm going. Yet. Anyway, let's try something else, uh, put a bit of grants here as well. This might uh, at some point result in a repair video, I'm not sure, because it's not always loading things, it seems to be a bit intermittent. The one minute it can work perfectly, flawlessly, no problems at all, and the next minute I'll get a lock up uh, when it's loading, when it's loading something from the disc. So I'm not sure whether it's the laser on its way out, um, I'm not sure whether it's a capacitor problem, um, just have to see. I mean, you know, all signs are, it seems alright. It's probably just the laser, I would think. So I'll skip the intro there. Work uh, arcade. It's a long time since I played this, I can't really remember what it looks like. So for the most part it seems to be loading okay. It makes me think maybe it's not the laser, maybe there's you know, it's those SMD caps. Maybe I'm gonna to have to do a recap on this. Wow, it's a bit blocky. Blockier than I remember. Is this supposed to analog? Yeah, it does support the uh, analog stick, that's cool. Speed's nice though, that's uh, really nice. Awesome. Obviously it's uh, not up to your fours or five, but it's uh, still pretty good. I did play, uh, I think it's GTA uh, Gran Turismo 4 on the PS2 uh, yesterday. I had a quick blast on that, I was amazed at how good that looks for PS2. This ain't bad, it's got some, got some nice you know, light and stuff going on while you're there. It's moving fast. Control car. I'm just not used to using this, you know, the analog sticks in here. It's been ages since I've used a PlayStation uh, Dual Shot. Oof, overcompensating a bit there. Anyway, I'm sure you're getting bored by now. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.